Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is just going to be a quick video um, to show some stuff that I got recently over the holidays. Uh, not necessarily gifts, but um, some pre-orders that came in, as well as a couple, uh, uh, some eBay finds. Um, so right away, you can clearly see, we've got a nice Broadway Limited Brass Hybrid locomotive. And judging by the cars, you might be able to guess what it is. Uh, but first, I figure I'd show um, a couple neat cars I got to go along with this locomotive. Uh, first being this uh, Cato Ricardo uh, business car, which is pretty cool. Um, recently, I went up to the Baltimore and Ohio uh, Railroad Museum and uh, had a great time uh, checking out some really cool stuff there. Um, but, uh, anyway, saw a few of these, uh, cars. Um, this is a B and O car. These are C and O cars, but that's okay. Uh, they're almost similar paint scheme. Uh, this is a really nice, um, kind of observation car. Uh, these are beautiful. I mean, I know they're kind of old or older, uh, but Cater did a really nice job with these and it's actually lit. Um, to my surprise, I put it on the track and, uh, the rear end lit up with, uh, marker lights. Kind of get a look there. Uh, I don't think it has interior lighting, just the marker lights. Um, nice interior. Maybe one day I'll put some figures in there. But, um, yeah, really good find. A really good price on this too, by the way. Um. Let's check out some of these cars. All right, so here are uh, some coaches, Chesapeake and Ohio. This is an older, older Walther's run, it looks like. Um, again, found these on eBay, the pack of four. Um, Pullman 52 seat coach, Chesapeake and Ohio. I believe there's um, two of these the same road number, but uh, that's okay. I'm just gonna use these um, whenever I run this locomotive. Uh, maybe put some people in them, but really nice uh, condition. They look almost brand new to me. Um, there's got a baggage car here as well. And here's another one, exactly the same. And I believe the third one, yeah, the third one is another coach, but it just doesn't have the, the skirts on the side. But still a really nice car. Um, three of these and the baggage car. And now for the big, uh, the big item here, the um, brass hybrid Broadway Limited locomotive. And with this locomotive, I have been wanting one of these for years since the first run. Um, I believe maybe four years ago they released this. It's almost impo it was almost impossible to find on eBay without spending over a thousand dollars on it. Um, coincidentally, right after I went to the Baltimore and Ohio Museum, literally. I think it was the next week, Broadway Limited kind of snuck out um, just a email saying that these are going to be available again, and I got one. And it was, I mean, only another uh, couple months before it was actually here. So I picked up the CNO uh, Hudson number 490 um, from the museum. And if anyone's ever seen this in person, it's just beautiful. I love these, um, you know, streamlined steam locomotives in the 50s. I think they're just beautiful. So I'm going to try to collect as many as I can of these um, style locom uh, steam locomotives. Maybe maybe get one once a year or something. I really want to find a uh, uh, New York Central um, Dreyfus Hudson, but... Again, those are going for crazy amounts on eBay. So, again, this is the new run. Just absolutely beautiful. And it does have, uh, I believe it does smoke as well. Which, this is my first locomotive that actually uh, smokes. But, I mean, absolutely beautiful. Let me pull it out of the box real quick and I'll get a better look at it. Okay, so right away taking this out of the package. Wow, this thing is heavy. Um, I've never owned a brass locomotive before. I know this isn't 
100% brass. It's die cast and brass, but uh, wow, it's it's pretty heavy. Um, absolutely beautiful by uh, Broadway Limited here. Um, I guess I might throw up a few pictures of the real one, which I saw um, a few months ago. All right, here's a little bit of a better view up close of some of the detail. And again, this isn't a review. Um, just going to show it off a little bit here. Can't wait to run it. But really excited about having this in my collection. Um, again, I've always loved this unique looking steam engine and seeing it in person. Um, I just had to have one, so that's it. The uh, Broadway Limited CNO Hudson. All right, that's gonna do it for this uh, video on some new stuff that came in. Um, hopefully, uh, get another or a couple videos out of uh, some switching on the layout for those who are interested in that. Um, days are numbered for this layout. Uh, hopefully, soon enough, I'll be able to share with you guys my plans uh, for the next one. Um, I'm really excited about it. It's going to be bigger and better and um, have a lot more videos coming out in the future on that build process and the planning process, which is what I'm doing right now. I hope to uh, make a little video just showing, you know, how I plan a switching layout uh, for operations as well as uh, for scenery too. I love, I love scenery. So Anyway, uh, have a happy new year for uh, everyone out there, and we'll see you soon.